Good evening everyone, I'm Arcas and welcome to the wrong room and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red Random Warp Randomizer. How many times can I say random? Play through. <laughs> uh, this is our current team. Uh, if you've watched the previous episode, you know how we got this team. Uh, previous episodes before that is, uh, I guess you call them filler? <laughs> nah. Um, so we lost our team two episodes ago, and last episode I did three streams to get back to where we were. Yeah, it took three streams to get back to where we were. And then, uh, yeah, I had to get an entirely new team. So that was fun. We got, in case you didn't watch it, we've got Madness Chill, Knocked, Jean Grey, Mini, and Morgana. That's our current team. We are actually going to take on the route of above Vermilion today because uh, that is our next uh, achievable route. I am going to put out front uh, you know what Madness you, you, you take center, center stage right now. Alright let's see what you got. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Oh, I also found out that uh, we haven't caught anything on Route 5 yet. Oh, grab! Oh, we chose the perfect Pokemon to go out first. Because Madness has a water move, Bubble Beam. And Graveler's four times weak to water. Bye, Graveler. A Weeping Bell. Okay. Um, we don't really have a super effective one against you. But you're only level 16. I'm surprised by that, actually. Does this mean the battle's gonna be here? Here? Gonna be here? Gonna be, here. Gonna be easy here? No, don't sleep out of me. Oh, madness is asleep. But I have awakening. You can use an awakening and see whatever move it uses. Sandstorm. Sandstorm. Okay, your choice. Madness is hit by it, but so is the Weeping Bell. And that almost knocked it out. I almost went back in my backpack. Uh, I guess I'll Karate Chop? I mean, there isn't any one of my moves that are going to knock it out, so it doesn't really matter what I use. Karate Chop's the move I use the least in this on this Pokemon now. I'm wondering if I should even bother having it anymore. And as soon as I say that, we get another move! Okay, what does Sludge Bomb do? It's a 90 power move that may poison the target. It is 90 power. Stronger than anything else we have. I don't use Karate Shop anymore. Everything else is at least 60. And Madness is a special attacker. I don't know if... Uh, such bomb is physical or special, I can't remember about with poison is special or physical. But it's a much higher power than Karate Chop. Which just has a high critical hit ratio. We're gonna get rid of Karate Chop. <laughs> the moment I mentioned it too, jeez. What's poison? What's what's weak to poison? That was a good first battle. Uh uh, we do have a bit too high on the levels here, I think. Maybe I should do a switch in and add Morgana. Actually, I think this one has like one Pokemon that's a uh, much higher level, so we're gonna just go in with Noct on this. See what happens. Oh, oh, you've got three Pokemon. Never mind, I'm wrong. Uh, also, it's not very. Not a very good matchup. I don't know what Goldeen's moves are. I'm gonna check uh, Morgana's. Is Morgana's our lowest level. Morgana can use Thunder Shock. However, I think Goldeen has moves that can counter that. What I'm gonna do. I'll start with a bind. Okay, it's got Protect. And you had that, I think. So we'll do it again. We're gonna start with a bind. 
And it's got Fury Swipes. Alright, so it's not too powerful. It's got Fury Swipes, it's probably got Scratch. Um, and what was its other move that it had? Probably a stat lowering move. Nox can technically bulk up, which would make it strong enough to rift stand a lot of Goldie's attacks. As well as also increasing the power of its own. Which in a turn in a in a turn by turn thing, that's gonna make a huge difference. Oh, I missed. Of course they don't miss. <laughs> Noct is taking a lot of big hits here. And it was freed from bind that turn, jeez. Now it's back in again. Low kick is his other move. Okay. Low kick I think is based on the weight of the Pokemon. Morgana has 38 health. Oct is going to Moonlight and get his health back. He needs to get his health back. Oh, Swift is his other move. Okay. So it doesn't have Scratch. So it gained, it gained low kick in swapping and swapped out Scratch. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to continue to bind. Oh, it's protecting. Still bound, though. Four times that, and then it was freed from its bind. I'm gonna bind again. Oh, it's protecting! Stop protecting! Oh my god! Why are you able to do that twice in a row? I don't ever run out of moves for it. it. Is all you could do protect? Don't miss! Why would you miss now? Knocked! What is wrong with you? I'm gonna see what happens if I switch to... Let me just check Morgana's stats. Physical defense is only 16. That's like half everybody else's. Uh, if I never bring it into a fight, it's never going to get any experience. Okay, use low kick. That was not very effective. I could have Thunder Shock. I'm going for it. Oh, it's Fury Swiping. Two. Two times! Yes! Yes! That's good. Sending in a Clefairy. I'm going to send in... Based on the, I believe, Clefable I fought before, I think. I'm actually going to send in Gene. Because if it uses that really powerful move... Oh, it's got Sonic Boom. It's got Sonic Boom. Okay. I'm going to do a lot of damage. Facade, we're going with Facade. The Sonic Boom does 20 every hit, no matter what. G got some experience, but Morgana also gains experience, and that's the important part there. Sun Flora. Aurora Beam. That's ice. That's not going to be very effective. Let's 
that's also ice. Like, I can just payday at this point and still win. <laughs> up an extra hundred. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, which requires me to go to... there's a mark that way... Requires me to go through here. Pokemon Center is... all the way back, isn't it? Saffron is probably the quick, quick closest one. I should have a look at uh, what I've got in terms of money. I have 14,000. And I have not enough Ultra Balls or Grey Balls to catch more Pokemon. Not that I need to catch them right now, but if I end up in the grass at any point, I'm, I'm going to need to catch more Pokemon, aren't I? It might be good to catch more Pokemon just so I've got more options if I need to take in specific types of battles. So what I want to do, find a mark with more Pokeballs. Now, would it be better to go, I think it's better to go to the department store. We may have to go down into the underground path regardless. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go all the way back. The SSN. I want to go get some Ultra Balls. We have 10. I want to post up to 15, so I'm going to give us another 5. And as for Great Balls, uh, we're good with them being at 10, I think. Then we got a lot of uh, money left over. Now, looking at our team. Now a team of Pokemon. The general health range. Okay, we got a 38 in there, but it's about 50 if we're going with Gene. Well, 56 to 80, which is our highest. If 80 is our highest and our water heals 50, a soda pop would heal 60, and the next one up heals 80. We're almost at the point where we can get the highest one as our main healing item. Uh, I want to check the costs on those. And I kind of want to compare them to stuff in the department store. Because the department store is a pretty good barometer for items that are around about this level. And their costs, I think. We need a good barometer for items. Uh, second floor. the best shop we've got that we can utilize right now uh, that is not the leak. so a super potion which heals 50 points a super potion that heals 50 points the same as the water costs 700 the water costs like I think 200 so 700 for a healing of 50 this was not a good barometer was it Anything I need to sell? Thousand for that? But right now, max potion is basically, uh... Oh, there's... We can sell a nugget. Yeah, we, we will sell that nugget. We have eight fresh waters. I do want to put that up to 10, but I also want to set up to be able to heal higher at later points. 
So we're going back to the first floor. And yeah, 50 is not a huge amount of health to heal anymore. I mean, it's pretty big for us right now, but get a couple more levels and it will not be a good number. It won't be a full heal sort of situation. Or max potion or whatever you like to call it. So I'm going to go back to here. We don't have any other shops yet that we know of uh, that are as good as uh, the department store that aren't the League. The League has all the best items, obviously, because it's the League at the end of the game. But they're all expensive as hell, and I don't want to go through getting all of those. Because it's just going to cost me a bomb for, for items that are equal to what I can get here, essentially. So Lemonade, apparently, I think it heals 80 health. It's cheaper than a super potion. The only curious. It only heals 50. That's funny. Fresh water is currently the best one uh, for us right now. So I'm going to get a couple of those. And a soda pop, I believe, heals 60. So I'm going to get one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, they, they do not cost a huge amount. I'm gonna get. I'm actually gonna get five of these as well. There's two, three, four, five. Okay, so in our bag we have ten fresh waters, two soda, uh, five soda pops, and five lemonades. See, look, eighty. The next step up, I think, is Hyper Potion, which heals like uh, 120. Or is it 200? We got. It's a high healing item. Uh, did we heal our Pokemon? We did. Okay, cool. So, this is the Pokemon Center we'll be using for the Vermilion thing because it's just the closest Pokemon Center we have. Until we can find a closer one. If I can check my map, but I think closer, but I don't think there is. We we have not found many healing points or marts, so it's kind of hard to judge. There is a trainer here that has it's supposed to have a butterfree. I think it's actually this trainer. I'm going to switch Gene out to the front. I think it's this trainer that's going to have the uh, high level but single Pokemon. Yeah, there it is. And it's a Plusel. A level 20 Plusel. I don't know what its moves are going to be. I'm going to Facade. Octozooka. Oh no! Super effective. I think it's a water type move. Yeah, I'm switching. Octozuka. I'm gonna switch to sh chill. I'm gonna switch to chill. Okay, it's not as ac it's not as good. Okay. Uh I'm gonna start with a fly. Oh I got to go first. It's faster than chill. Raising its defense. That's not very effective. Okay, I'm gonna use Icy Wind. Oh, it's got Spark. I'm gonna need to move. I'm gonna need to take Chill out of the battle then. Why'd you miss? Alright. The moves it's shown so far are are more special than physical. I think Magnus will be able to take take a hit. Plus the highest level, so damn the freaking paralysis! Synchronize, yes. Good 
Good, good, good. We had a we had a few Pokemon got on that one, but we already have to heal again. Do you get a level? This was gonna be the toughest one. Um Because it was a level 20, it was gonna be the toughest one. Because our teams are averaged out around 21 or so. So it, it was always going to be the toughest one. I was expecting to have to come back and heal. One of those things you kinda wanna like speed up. <laughs> I mean, if I could do a lot of editing to the episode, I, I would speed it up. If I haven't already. <laughs> yeah. Because the journeys back and forth aren't as important as the rest of the game. But I can't keep using all my items, so I've got to go back and heal each time. I can use the items in battle, but... When it's huge damage like that that just comes out of nowhere, I'm not even... Not even jumping in with an item. I'm getting them out of moving on to another Pokemon. At least then I know I can do something with it. It's just Vermillion's a little bit out of the way at the moment. Um, there is a route I need to clear that will uh, give me pretty much access to Vermillion, but once I've done that route, then there is no reason to even go to Vermillion, so... And we kind of have to go up the current route first, and we'll probably need to catch a few Pokemon on top of that, or knock them out, whichever works out. Best way uh, method. Alright, so we fought those two, we fought this one, those two are just deciding amongst themselves, and there is a trainer here, who is a bug catcher. They could have practically anything. Uh, I am actually going to put Morgana out front, we're going to take a little bit of a risky there. And we're going to get this guy to fight us. I don't think he has only one Pokemon, I'm pretty sure he has a few. So he shouldn't be too much higher than Morgana. He has three. That's good, he's 16s. 16s. Bradley! Suction cups. Hmm. Morgana has some really good moves, but I don't think Morgana can beat this. Not at its level. I don't know what it has. I should do because we fought one before, but. I think it's rock is part of it, but I think it's. Is it grass? I'm going to shift to chill. Grudge. Oh, if it gets knocked out, it takes his opponent with it. Oh, something like oh no, it takes his PP from the move that knocked it out. I'm going to Icy Whip. Ooh, that almost knocked it out. Just steel wing it. Pretty sure his grudge has ran out at this point. Oh, flood subfloor shouldn't be difficult, just fly. Oh, it's got spikes! Oh, spikes are dangerous. If you, if you constantly switch your Pokemon, spikes are dangerous. This means if I switch any of my Pokemon, they're going to take damage the moment they come into battle. That's a Kecleon. It'll take the type of whatever I hit it with. It's currently a Psychic type. I'm going to fly. It's using Sunny Day. Jill's going to use Fly. And it's going to become a flying type. Very important that it does that. It loses a stab as well from its psychic move. Because it's not a psychic type anymore. And I'm going to use Icy Wind. It is weakened in sunny weather. But this should be super effective against flying types. So it just made its own grave. <laughs> yeah. And that essentially clears a lot of the route. Uh, what's here? Nana Berry, okay. Is there an item over here as well? There's a potion. I really don't need potions. And there are two exits here! Could fight those two trainers as well. Uh, 
I don't know what good how good their Pokemon are. Well, let's give it a try. This is a private conversation, guys. Don't butt in. There's two Pokemon, so they're probably gonna be like 18 or something. Oh, 16. Still 16. Oh, poison point. Okay. Uh. I'm actually going to switch to Madness here. Because Madness is a special attacker. I forget what Nita Arena has, plus it's a much higher level. I am going to Bubble Beam. I don't want a Sludge Bomb yet. Uh, sludge whatever yet, because I'm not sure if it's a physical attack or not. And if it is a physical attack, then Madness will get poisoned. And I don't want Madness to be poisoned. We're just going to bubble beat a couple of times. Not a powerful move, especially with Matt just being a special attacker. Morgana grid a level! Yes! Well done, Mal Morgana! Your defense went up. A little bit. Went up by one, I think. Morgana's a special attacker as well, so Morgana is very similar to Madness. But it seems like Morgana has a bit more versatility in moveset. Swellow is the next one. I'm going to try a Sludge Bomb and see how much damage that does. And knocked it out with a critical hit. <laughs> wow. Pulling its weight already. Uh, I'm going to leave Morgana out front and just keep going with this. How dare you listen in on us. Camper Ricky. We only has one Pokemon. I could Thundershock it. It's a level 20 though. Now nah, I'm switching. Uh, I'm going to bring Chill into the fight. Yeah, if it wasn't level 20, I would have fought it. There's a dark move. Good job we switched out our psychic type. Alright, uh. I think Fly is the best move we can make here with Chill. It's the only real move. It has Dragon Breath, it can paralyze us. Magic Coat. What does Magic Coat do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Magic Coat. What does it do? Reflect status moves back. Ah, okay. I'm not using those, so we're good. Oh, it's double teaming. Okay. I see what it's doing here. Dragon breathing. We could get paralyzed. Nope. Okay. Double teaming again. It knew that we were going to fly, I guess. And it's magic coding again. It'll still hit, even with two double teams. I'm kind of surprised, actually. And there goes Kappa Ricky. All right. Now we have to make a decision. Which door do we go through? Which door will avail us the correct way to go? Well, we'll save this little door here and we're gonna go for this really big one. And hope we don't get the worst case scenario. Cause there's only a few chances left of getting the worst case scenario. Let's go for it. Oh, we ended up on route 20. Oh, are you a trainer? I don't want to fight anybody here. Okay. That takes us to Route 20. Uh, I'm going to mark that on my warp tracker. So this takes us to the, essentially to the Deep Foam Islands. Takes us to the entrance there on Route 20. Right. 
Right, okay, we have Route 20 Seafoam, where there isn't really anything we can do here. I don't think there are any items on that island. So we literally have only this door left. Uh, hoping for the best. Oh, this is Mr. Fuji's house. Okay, this is technically another dead end, because Mr. Fuji's house doesn't lead us anywhere until we have Mr. Fuji back. Uh, so this is a dead end. Can we say block by event, maybe? That to be a specific... So uh, we'll just have it as a dead end. And that's all there is to it, really. There's not really anything special to that dead end at all. Unless you get... Do you get the flute back at Mr. Fuji's house after you've destroyed the rockets? In which case, I need to mark this as the flute location. So I'm going to put another flute on this. Rather than just a dead end. I put the Poke Flute here because I've already got one link to the Poke Flute, which is the top of the um, top of the Lavender Tower. But this is the bottom of the Lavender Tower. We need to get the Poke Flute. All right, so there actually isn't anywhere we can go from here because within this door, there's an island. Yeah, and there's nothing on this island except I think maybe a trainer. We could uh, get some more Pokemon in the grass, but the next route that we're going to need to clear out, now that we've done all that, there are two potential routes to clear out. We could either go through Diglett's Cave, get the stuff on the other side. We will have a level 27 could potentially randomly appear, which I have a feeling would knock out at least one guy in that party. Alternatively, we have this route, which I just got an item on. Max Revive, which we need to sell because we can't use. So we have this route to do, and I want to go sell my Max Revive. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, there's an easy Mart, actually. A really close Mart. Right here. This is the other Mart we know about. I mean, there's one more besides this, but this is like an a early level Mart. It's one of the early level Marts. We have another early level mark. We actually have the very first mark uh, on one of the on route uh, eleven, I think. We go out Pokeball Potion Antidote. We don't need any more antidotes. Paralyze Heal Awakenings. I could probably do with some Awakenings for now. Uh, burn Heal Escape Rope, which we don't really need because we got Dig, so we could get him instead. Yeah, we just have... This This is like a place to grab stuff. Grab items. Alright, so our next... Uh, the next route to clear out is over this side. Where there are bound to be some slightly stronger trainers. I'm sure. We still have not found... Uh, let's see. We still have not found uh, the Pewter or Cerulean Gems. We also haven't found the Celadon Gym. Uh, but we have found the Thunder Gym. The Lightning Gym. The um, Vermilion Gym. Which we could use to get Fly, which would mean we could fly to any place we've already been. We wouldn't have to keep going back around in different directions to get to where we need to be. I would actually make travel back to that Pokemon Center much quicker because I could just travel straight to Saffron. Or is there any other place with an actual location where I can just get a Pokemon Center off the bat? I think Saffron is the main one. Yeah, because we could just fly back to Saffron then. So we could take on the Gym Leader. I don't have any ground Pokemon to counter their electric types. And I've got a few flying Pokemon I don't think will be good for fighting it. Uh, however, Madness is a special attack so could, and Defender, well, I guess. Submarine's Defender? 
Yeah, pretty good. Mostly magic attack and... Uh... Yeah. Oh, entirely possible. Entirely possible. Anyway, we're going to leave this off here. Thanks everyone so much for watching. We have so much more to get. Uh, this route actually, this next route doesn't actually have any, um, let me just look. Doesn't have any way anymore. Hold on, I haven't clicked that one. Yeah, it doesn't have any more uh, routes for us to find on here. Wait, it says rocket in the Diglett cave. Oh, I think that's the, uh, the, the rocket base thing. But yeah, this route doesn't have any new uh, routes for us to unlock, but we could go catch some more Pokemon from uh, Route 5, or I believe this is Route 6. Do we have the, uh, did we get the... Oh, we got the T. Huh. We didn't get the map. <laughs> I didn't get the map! Because I've got a map. Uh, yeah, it was, it was Route 5 and uh, Route 11, actually. That's Route 11. Route 6 was above. Oh, I know where 7 and 8 is. They're, uh... Route 8's on that side, and Route 7's on that side. Alright, that's the... Five up, six down. This is from Saffron City. So it's five up, six down. Seven to the right, left. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> seven to the left. Eight to the right. <laughs> that is actually a weird way of doing it. Five clockwise. Anyway. Thanks everyone so much for watching. For now, we're done here. See ya! I babble a lot.